Welcome to our virtual Tavolate de San Giuseppe. In this video, you will hear the history of St. Joseph Tavolata from Father Tim Kitsky, pastor of Three Holy Women Catholic Parish and ICC member. You will also meet Mary Hessel, who is the president of the Christian Women at Three Holy Women Catholic Parish, giving us the history of the Christian women and their support of Tavolate di San Giuseppe. You'll also meet several members of the Italian Community Center as they prepare several dishes for our Feast of St. Joseph, pasta con sarde, and several types of fried vegetables. These are items that would have been served at Tavolata di San Giuseppe had we been able to gather. Please enjoy our video. Buongiorno, benvenuti tutti everyone. Happy Feast of St. Joseph. We have a great tradition here in the east side of Milwaukee and in conjunction with the Italian Community Center, the great, great tradition of San Giuseppe. March 19th is his feast day, but this has been a year in which the Holy Fathers declared the year of St. Joseph. We're a little bit sad that we can't have a regular tavolata in all the various ways we've done it, but we're going to do it in a different way today for you, and we're so grateful wherever you are across the miles in TV land to know we're together at the Feast of St. Joseph. And I ask your blessing on each other as we share the food together, learn how to make the food, and remember that St. Joseph is with us. It's a great historical feast. Mary is going to come and give us a little background for it. But it was a time in which there was a drought in, this, in Sicily, and the drought ended, and it was because of the intercession of St. Joseph, the protector of the church. He's the patron of the universal church, and so we pray. O oh, provident God, the good things that grace this table remind us of your many good gifts. Bless our food, and may the prayers of St. Joseph, who provided bread for your son and food for the poor, sustain us and all our brothers and sisters on our journey towards your heavenly kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. The blessing of St. Joseph for us and to remember the poor, the lost, the forsaken, unity in our families and peace in our city, in our country, in our world. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. San Giuseppe, pray for us. The Christian Women's Society is such a great society in our parish and also we know that the Italian Community Center stands for such a great tradition. I'd like to introduce Mary Hessel, who's the president of our Christian Women to give us a little perspective and background about this wonderful tradition of Tavolata. The Christian women at Three Holy Women have tried to carry on this beautiful, wonderful tradition every March to honor St. Joseph. Uh, we, we honor St. Joseph by pulling together the, uh, the table, the St. Joseph table, which we put up meatless dishes out. We sell them to the community. We have uh, free will offerings of pasta and blessed rolls and all of the money that we raise go to the community. So not only does it build community as our, our ladies come together to put on this event, but it draws in the whole community. And then we help the community outside. So it's just a wonderful tradition that we hope to continue to be able to honor. To prepare your pasta cosarde, we will begin by making the sauce. Prior to making the sauce, you will want to thaw your two pounds of sardines in the refrigerator. When thawing, place them into a container with lemon wedges. To prep your sardines, first make a slight slit across the back of the sardines. Then remove the head, slit the sardine up the belly, open it up, and remove the spine. Repeat this process with all your sardines. Once all of your sardines are ready, then slice your sardines down the middle and make sure that you're trying to keep the sizes and the pieces rather even. For the next step, finely dice two medium to large onions. Set one of the diced onions aside and take the other diced onion, add it to a saute pan with a bit of olive oil and begin to saute the onions. Once the onions are a bit translucent, add your chopped sardines, salt, pepper, and about a half a cup of white wine and continue to saute these for about five to 10 minutes. Once sauteed, place this aside as you will eventually add that to your sauce pot. In a medium to large sauce pot, place olive oil and onions and begin to saute the onions. Add one jar of tomato paste and begin to mix. Then add one jar of tomato puree. In this demonstration, we are using Rosalia Ferrante's homemade tomato puree, but certainly use your favorite brand from the store or your own homemade tomato puree. Next, add four ounces each of pine nuts, 
and raisins. After stirring in the pine nuts and raisins, add six to eight finely diced anchovies and one can of cuocho. This is a fennel and raisin uh, sauce base that comes from Palermo, Sicily. Truly any authentic pasta cosarde sauce has to have this product in it. It adds all the essential flavors that you need to make this sauce come together. At this point, if you feel your sauce is getting a bit too thick, feel free to add a little bit of water. After adding the water, this is the time you will add your sardines to the sauce. Stir in a handful of basil and allow your sauce to simmer for about a half hour. Prepare your spaghetti per the package directions. Place your strained spaghetti in a mixing bowl and add the sauce. Top your pasta with toasted breadcrumbs. Our next food demonstration will be of breaded and fried cauliflower, artichokes, and eggplant. Preparing these items will be Sophia, Nancy, and Rosalia. These are three of the many Christian women who work tirelessly every year to create a truly beautiful and special Tavolata di San Giuseppe. Start by preparing your vegetables. With a whole cauliflower, cut medium to large florets off the center stem. Place them in a large saucepan and cover them with cold water. Parboil your cauliflower to ensure that they are a little bit cooked and ready for breading. You'll want to make sure these are cooled before you start the breading process. Next, you'll take one whole eggplant and a vegetable peeler. Remove a bit of the skin from the eggplant. You'll want to keep some of the skin on as that allows the eggplant to retain its shape. Prepping the eggplant for breading means removing some of the bitter liquid that's in the eggplant. And to do this, we use a colander or a piece of paper towel on a countertop, salt your eggplant, and then place something on top of it to draw that water out. Once this is done, you'll want to pat your eggplant dry before you start the breading process. And finally, our artichokes. We are using canned artichokes, and so you'll want to make sure that you drain the liquid off of the artichokes and rinse them. This is the liquid that comes in the can and it can be a little bit salty. So make sure you drain and rinse them and dry them. Next, prep your workstation for the breading process. Have a bowl of all-purpose flour seasoned with salt, pepper, and paprika. A bowl of beaten eggs that includes salt, pepper, and Italian seasonings. And finally, your seasoned breadcrumbs, also lightly seasoned with an Italian seasoning package, or you can purchase pre-seasoned Italian breadcrumbs. When breading your vegetables, start by placing them in the flour and coating them thoroughly. Tap off the excess flour and place into the egg wash. Ensure that your vegetable is completely coated with the egg wash. Drain and place in the breadcrumbs. Then in the breadcrumb station, make sure that your vegetable is completely coated in breadcrumbs. Tap a bit and place on a tray in preparation for frying. Now we're ready to fry our vegetables. In this demonstration, we will be using a deep-sided frying pan with a combination of canola and vegetable oil. Once the oil is ready, we are going to begin frying our cauliflower. Place your cauliflower into the pan, ensuring not to overcrowd any of the vegetables. We will turn the cauliflower once during this process. Once your cauliflower is nice and golden, remove from the pan onto a sheet pan prepared with paper towel. Once all of our cauliflower is done, we will fry our artichokes, and after the artichokes, we will fry the eggplant. When frying your vegetables, try not to move them too much and turn them only once during the frying process. Once all of your vegetables are done, we recommend placing them onto a tray with wedges of lemon. Thank you for watching the Tavolata di San Giuseppe on the 
Italian Community Center's YouTube channel.